Hi, welcome to Instructor 5 Productions. I'm Dave Bursells. Perdido Beach Volunteer Fire Department here in Alabama is hosting us today for this extrication video. Today's topic, rolling the dash, but not using your rams. We're going to show you an alternate approach using your spreaders and your cutters and show you how you can get maximum lift and access to that patient. Okay, you've got to take the plastic trim and the weather stripping away. You don't want that between your cutter tips and the metal you're trying to cut. This is especially true when you're cutting around the other posts in the vehicle. You don't know what's hidden there. Okay, one of the things we want to do is we want to leave the windshield in place. The less cutting on the windshield, the less laminate dust in on the patient and the first responder. Then we're going to make a relief cut at the bottom as low as we can on the A post and then up as high as we've cut the windshield. Removing this chunk is going to then give us the space we need, especially if the dash sticks out high when we lift the dash and it rolls forward. What the guys are doing here is compressing the front quarter panel so they can get the cutters in and make a relief cut. Why do we want to do that? When we're lifting the dash, all the energy transfers down the front quarter panel to the front bumper. This limits how high you can lift your dash. If we can make a cut in the quarter panel, the dash will tend to roll as it's lifted right in its place, allowing for a higher vertical lift. You notice we got that pry bar in there? It keeps the spreaders from rolling in and impinging on the patient's legs. Okay, we've made a couple cuts. This is a small set of spreaders, so we've made an additional third cut on the side so we can create an opening to set the spreader. Grabbing what you've cut with the tips of your spreader, getting a good bite, and then bending it away to the side gives you a good opening to then get the tips of your spreader in there. All right, let's look at lifting this dash using our spreaders and not using a ram. The spreaders are already hooked up. We've got them perpendicular to our opening, so we can lift up and we can get a lot of lift. With the ram, if we had it in place, we would get everything open. We'd then have to get some cribbing in here to hold what we open, remove the ram to get our patient out. That all takes time. This situation, once we lift and turn the power off to the spreaders, we're ready to get the patient out. Well, as you can see, we've got a lot of room here. It looks like about 18 inches of lift. How did we accomplish this? A relief cut on the quarter panel, keeping that energy from going all the way down to the bumper. Using our spreaders instead of swapping over to RAM saved us some time and eliminated any obstacle here from getting the patient out. This is another way for you to get your patient out safely and effectively. Remember, train like your life depends on it, because it does. 